A Windsor woman is taking 3D printing to a whole new level, designing and printing everything from earrings to footwear. CTV's Sanjay Maru had a chance to step into her workshop and joins me now with more. Sanjay. Here's a question. What does this hair curler, this origami business card, and this bow tie all have in common? They were all 3D printed single-handedly by a 23-year-old woman from Windsor. This is a CAD model that's from a research paper I published a couple months ago, and it'll be the basis of the design in this video. It starts with a computerized design. This is my origami business card. It's definitely a lot of fun to fidget with. But with attention to detail and a lot of fine tuning comes almost anything that Doris Dralkova's heart desires. Custom shoes. Fun part about 3D printed shoes is you can make them super customized. Fashion accessories. I'm working on a video where I try and do my hair with 3D printing, so it's a hair roller. How about a basketball? It's a passion that started as a pandemic hobby. I didn't entirely have a friend group who enjoyed the same things I did in terms of like making things and I wanted to post it online to kind of build a community of people who saw how the hard work that went in, all the design challenges and things like that. Strelkova is now a master student in the University of Windsor's engineering department, but her interest in 3D printing started early in high school after she joined FIRST Robotics. We've seen that progression over the past bunch of years of more of those girls taking on opportunities in uh, the STEM side, so that technical side, building the robot, designing the robot, trying out programming. Strelkova even paid homage to her beginnings with FIRST Robotics by 3D printing a mini Lego figure of herself bearing the organization's logo. As part of an initiative by Reinvented Magazine, Strelkova's figurine was among 1,000 sent up to the edge of space as a way of promoting women in STEM. I sent them an email, hey, if I 3D print myself, can you send me two? And they're like, sure, why not? And that's a prime example too, just ask and try something. I settled for a realistic looking design, something people wouldn't realize was plastic until they really looked at it. And that's exactly what her YouTube channel, Strelko Mania, is all about. Trying something, designing, creating, inventing, because you never know who you could reach. I think it sets a perfect example of if you have the drive to achieve something, it's bound to happen. It's just the patience of time and effort that goes into it. And you saw there one of Strelkova's other 3D printed creations include space boots. She actually hopes to continue this work to the point where she may even find herself 3D printing in outer space. But that's a dream for the future. In the meantime, she just hopes her channel can serve as an inspiration to other creators and engineers, young and old. Stephanie. Oh, an exciting future ahead. Okay, thank you, Sanjay Maro, tonight. Last week, I had the opportunity to get featured on our local news that ended up tree branching into being featured on the national news. So if you caught this episode, that's awesome. I wanted to post the interview because I was extremely nervous about it. I was extremely nervous about showcasing my channel and some of the things that I've been working on for the last year. Three D printing is not just a hobby; it is an opportunity, an opportunity to bring your ideas to life, to gain new skills, to meet new people, to explore. And I think that my TV interview that you just watched encapsulates that. At least that was my goal: is that three D printing and my YouTube channel isn't just a hobby; it's an opportunity. If you're contemplating whether or not to start that new hobby you've been putting off, or to start a channel of your own, do it. This YouTube channel and making things. I've always been making things, but my last year or year and a half of actually putting the effort in to attend events, to share my ideas, even though I might consider them to be small, has had more than just a small impact on my life. Not only have I've been able to travel because of these ideas to present at conferences, get featured in the news, but to meet all kinds of people and to gain the confidence in my ideas, to improve interviewing, communication skills, even my storytelling. Even though sometimes I can be extremely critical of my projects in the sense that I wish they were bigger and more complex, and two, 
a different kind of standard, but I need to remind myself that I'm balancing project creation with other parts of my life, including currently being in school. And because that is a priority, other parts of my life will not necessarily suffer, but will not be able to grow at the same level as or rate even as if I were doing them full time and giving it my all. So my point with that is even a little bit of effort is better than none at all. And I'm so excited to see this community and this channel grow and to see in the comments all of you discussing my design ideas, how they can be improved, what they would have done differently, keeping me up to date on new materials and printers or other projects. The fulfillment you might be looking for could be in the work you are avoiding. And I can attribute a lot of this creativity and this drive to explore more to my time in FIRST Robotics in high school. And I'm so happy that in the TV interview, we were able to feature a segment on just that because I do believe that it captures the story of Dora. So for those of you who have stumbled by my channel, thank you for being here and welcome. I also hope you enjoy this background. There's a lot going on, but a little bit from a lot of my videos, my future engineering grad cap, my Amazon box letters, my 3D scan version of myself and behind there this way is the spacesuit I used at a Texas fashion show. Up there, you might not be able to see it, is my Lego minifigure. Sometimes I just get so caught up in thinking of what I wish I was doing. I don't stop and spend the time to realize how much I have already done. And when I first started this channel in 2016 making DIY videos, which no, none of those are up anymore, maybe I'll react to them one of these days, that version of me had no clue that I would be here today. And so today's version of Dora has no clue where she's gonna be in that many more years. And I'm excited to see where that is. So no, 3D printing and YouTube are not just a hobby, they're an opportunity.